We are here today at Cape Pemwa Beach helping to clean up the rubbish and learn more about the marine environment. Seventy-five, twelve and thirteen-year-old students from the British International School, Phuket, are here today to visit the marine, Phuket Marine Biological Centre and Phuket Aquarium at Cape Panwa to learn about the marine environment. But first, we are doing a beach cleanup. We want to give something in return to the community. This area gets a lot of rubbish brought in from the ocean due to the people dumping rubbish from boats and ships. Each day the tide brings in more rubbish. We got about 180 kilos in just half an hour already. We saw the baby turtles in the ponds waiting to grow before they were released into the ocean. We also saw turtles that were recently injured and operated on here. When they recovered, they will, they will be released again. We talked to Mark Vunch, educational consultant at the aquarium. Why does the rubbish come to this beach? Well, um, you see like today there's a lot of wind driving the uh, rubbish which is in the water, driving it onto our beach. We have um, um, west wind now, so um, that basically is the, the main driving force to, to um, transport the garbage to our beach. That's why we have so much, because we have a lot of west wind. And uh, it's coming all from, I don't know, maybe Rawai and uh, places over to, to us. What are the most dangerous types of rubbish? Well, that depends on the, uh, how you look at it. If you look from the perspective of um, turtles, they're like, um, they like to catch uh, um, maybe like jellyfish, so they eat the plastic, which looks like jellyfish. And so they cannot digest the plastic, so they accumulate all the plastic, the rubbish in their stomach and eventually may die if they can get not rid of it. So we have found uh, several turtles who, who died from rubbish, eating rubbish. Us cleaning the beach today, is it helping the environment a lot? Well, it's certainly helping our local environment here, because as you saw, the rubbish is going into the ground it's, um, and changes the environment, basically. I mean, if you imagine, for example, a turtle, I mean, turtles are not coming to this beach anymore, but um, if a turtle wants to dig a nest, for example, and you have uh, fishing nets in the, in the beach, then they get stuck, and, and uh, so it's difficult. And um, other um, animals may get injured because they cut themselves. And um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> is this one of the most affected beaches in Phuket? Um, this is uh, hard to say, um, but uh, I think we could probably get as much rubbish as other beaches that are exposed to the west wind. So, um, yeah, so I, I couldn't say that it's the most effective beach, but it's certainly we get a lot of uh, rubbish, as you saw. And, um, what animals does it affect? Yeah, like uh, turtles that I mentioned, they, it affects turtles uh, that they, they can eat the rubbish. Um, there are like uh, dolphins have been reported to, to uh, be um, hurt because I also take up the rubbish like uh, garbage, uh, um, like bags or plastic things. And uh, just I think last week we had a little whale stranded and it had about two kilograms of garbage in the stomach. So that probably was the main uh, cause uh, of its death. Um, so is plastic the worst type of rubbish then? Well, plastic is pretty, pretty bad because it um, stays for a long time. It doesn't decompose so quickly. And, um, but even if uh, plastic decomposes or styrofoam, it, it just breaks down to smaller uh, um, pieces so that they are not so obvious anymore, but they still stay in the sand in the environment. And um, yeah, plastic is certainly pretty bad because uh, you have also different, different types of plastic. Um, and um, yeah. Thank you, Mark. Next, we visited the research center and learned about the effects of global warming on the marine environment. For example, coral bleaching happens due to high ocean temperatures and high level of carbon dioxide dissolves to make the water acidic.
spells and so it harms mollusks like scallops and oysters and corals. There are also some other animals to look at being grown in ponds for research and some students visited the research vessels at the end of the pier. Hopefully we learned, hopefully we came away with a better knowledge and understanding of marine life and how important it is to look after the environment. That was a really interesting and worthwhile visit today. This is Josie, Danielle, Tash, Lily and Emma, young reporters for Andaman News MBT. Back to the studio. Bye! Bye.